Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Mike. We're um, this is going to be a diary of my first bodybuilding competition. I own my own gym here in Meritor Gym in Fly, and we're going to aim to do a video every two weeks. We're eight weeks out now, and I'm going to answer some questions now off Instagram and explain what you're going to see in the videos. So the first one, this isn't actually a question. I put this in. Why am I shooting this video? So there's millions of fitness videos on YouTube and I'm going being selfish looking at what I wanted. I wanted to do a proper bodybuilding competition. Not physique, not, you know, the big boys. So I looked and looked and looked for videos of what, what it sort of takes and what you go through. And there isn't hardly any. There's ones of the pros, but their pros were not. Their lifestyles are different. So uh, my goal is to show you what I'm going to go through to get to the stage in an open bodybuilding competition. Um, on if you YouTube and look, there's just loads on physique and bikini. But I think that may be because a lot of people, it takes years to be big enough to do a bodybuilding competition and do okay in it. Not being arrogant, presuming I'm gonna do okay. That's the reason for the video, and we're gonna try and log everything all the way through, up to and including show day. So I'll start now with some questions people have asked previously to this video on Instagram and we'll go from there. What's your diet like? <clears throat> the most obvious one, the first thing people ask. So 12 weeks out I was just under 18 stone. Um, I was a bit fatter than that before that. I sort of just reined it in and then started a proper diet 12 weeks out. The diet, with four weeks in now I've lost 15 pounds, has not changed once. So without going into weights of, of food because that's conducive to me, it'd be different for yourself. We've basically got an egg meal, two chicken meals, a whey isolate meal after training, a steak meal and a fish meal. So six meals a day, sounds like a lot, it doesn't feel like a lot, trust me. Um, so three days a week we have carbs with every meal. They're on chest, back and leg days where I need the extra energy. The other four days we cut the carbs out of the first and last meal, creating a steady deficit. Um, my amazing videographer will put pictures of my check-in so far up here, just with the one same pose maybe, so you can see the progress steady. I believe the weight drop's been four pounds, three pounds, 3.5, and this week five pounds. Um, quick reasons why is it spaced out like that? Why do you have to have six meals? So the main reason is you can store fats and carbohydrates. Like if you're doing a marathon or something long endurance, you'd overeat carbs so they're there to be released. You can't store protein. So to maintain the muscle mass, it's got to be divided up. You can't have, if I'm having 300 gram of protein, I need 650s, not 300s or it'll go to waste without going too into that. More on that next week when we do, uh, in a fortnight when we do the video at my house, I'll go into it in a lot more detail. What drugs and supplements are you taking? Again, I'm gonna go more into this in the next video, when I've got all my supplements in front of you and explain what does what. Drugs, yeah, there's tested competitions and untested, we're doing an untested one, so we are taking um, performance enhancers, I will go into them next week, but they're just the icing on the cake, all this, they would do nothing without all this hard work. We'll go into that more next week. <laughs> Why use a coach? So we'll be introducing my, he, he is my coach, he's more my trainer and we've done the diet together, but um, Kelvin Hyland, an IFBB pro from crew, we'll be training with him in this video. Um, why anyone should use a coach? Basically, if you're starting out and you don't know anything, you could save yourself years of messing around. That's the main reason why I think people should seek some sort of help. That doesn't mean you've got to go and hire a £300 a month professional top 10 bodybuilder. You don't need that if you're just starting out. But there should be someone down your local gym that should do it for 10, 15 quid a week and, and look at them if that's what I want to look like. Ask them, or even a good gym owner should help you for free. Me personally, I need help with something that's extreme because as you diet and get leaner, you get crazier and You'll think, oh, if you're having a fat day, which we all have, athletes and non-athletes, you'll, I'll look in the mirror and think, shh, I'm behind. Uh, I, I double my cardio, double what I'm taking, cut my food down. Before you know it, you're skinny fat and you've ruined everything. So you need someone there going, right, you're on point or you're not. That's the reason for myself. 
how's training been through lockdown? Well, as we will briefly show you after this, I do own my own gym. Um, I have been training. I didn't. I was training for body power last year, and then the PCA in October, and it fell through and fell through. I kept my training pretty consistent, and I think in the next video, when I'm a little bit lower in weight, we'll have some 12 month apart pictures, which will um, really show the progress. So I've been very lucky to have access to my own gym, um, which is the best gym in North Wales as well, by, by coincidence. What has been the hardest bit of prep? Well, I'm only four weeks in out of 12, and I'm gonna be honest, it's not been hard. Um, at the very start, I, I, I like, when I'm not on a diet, I eat everything. The week before I started this diet, I had a different takeaway every night and a big bag of crap. So it, switching off and them cravings, but they soon go, if, if you, the goal is bigger than the cravings, that's really all it comes down to with everyone. Whether you're a bit fat and you wanna get in shape for summer, or you wanna do something as extreme as this. Your, your, your desire has got to outweigh your desire to eat the things you shouldn't be eating. I've also got a three month old baby at home who also eats every two hours. So sleep has not been perfect so far, but you've got to work around these things, haven't you? Uh, last question, which is, which is a bit similar, prepping around family and work. I'm very fortunate to have an understanding partner. So if I need to go and sleep in the spare room because I've got training in the morning, I will. Which hasn't happened too much yet, but I'm told six, four weeks out, it might be happening. Um, work, I'm a personal trainer, part-time, I'd say, more of a business owner. So getting to the gym and training and getting the meals in isn't a massive issue for me. But I'll be honest with you, unless you're in school or something and you're not allowed to eat, like, for me, you have your breakfast at home, take two meals to work, you should be allowed to have 15 minutes twice to eat their meals. Straight to the gym, shake after the gym, you get two meals in at home. If you want to do it, you can do it. There's no not enough time. I won't go into the budget of it because I'm going to do that in the next video of what it costs and where you can save money. Everyone's finances are different, but we'll go into that more in the future. But I suppose the take home is, if you want to do it, you can find a way. I think that's it for the start. I've mumbled my way through. This is an absolute stone cold first attempt. No stopping and starting. Um, we'll show you quickly around the, new, the old gym and the new gym. And then we'll be going up to Nathan Diash's gym, Prophecy, to film the back section. Before we go train guys, I'm going to quickly show you, you've seen a brief bit of the old gym, in eight weeks we'll be in this uh, lovely little thing and we'll just uh, show you quickly what's to come. So here will be your entrance, obviously. <laughs> Breaking an entrance Leave, leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll come through there if you just pan around your whole reception will be here shop cafe all your mod cons we're going to have a nice seating area here lockers we'll have a swiping card that'll get you discount off a couple of restaurants we'll go into that another time that'll then buzz you into the main gym so we've got here uh, about 3600 square foot which is literally going to be specific body areas, back, chest, all the way to the end. It's about double the size of what we've got now. You'll see in weeks to come what's coming. Then, we'll pass you over to Danny. 50% of the gym is going to be a second floor and we've purposely built North Wales Fight Academy for our pro MMA coach, Danny Dixon. Yeah, so professional MMA so why chasing my own dream and chasing my career I'm also going to do a variety of classes there'll be wrestling there'll be jiu-jitsu with Chris Fishgold in the UFC myself will be teaching kickboxing and boxing there'll be kids classes you know trying to get the youngsters up basically just trying to as I chase my own dream help people get theirs from around here when I was growing up there wasn't much on offer so I'm trying to make uh, give back as well as do so we're trying to do these videos every couple of weeks guys you'll see the progression this isn't really an advert just sort of show you our environment and where we're coming from 
and what we're building. Off to prophecy. Right guys, so we've just wrapped up training back and posing here at Prophecy Performance Centre and speak. The main reason I come and train back with Kelvin, on the next video we'll put up some photos of me 12 months apart. It was by far my weakest area and that was mainly because of technique that I needed help with despite training for 10 years and got big and still doing things wrong. That's why you shouldn't be afraid to seek help and I'll just bring in IFBB Pro. Kelvin Hind here to explain what we've been doing. Right, so we started off with a pull down, and where a lot of people go wrong with this is the swinging back and two, and just using momentum, and also pulling through. If you're trying to engage the lat, you need to keep your elbow tucked in and squeeze the lat, because a lot of people pull through there. And as soon as you pull through there, you'll, you'll feel the lat just go, and you're working a different part of your back. So every back exercise, we're trying to target just a slightly different part. So we started off with the lat pull downs, that's isolating the lats done correctly. Then we did the pullovers, which was a lot harder doing it second, by the way. But again, through there, we're pulling through the elbows and squeezing the lats. It's just throwing it through, through. You do loads more weight and loads more reps, but it's all about the execution. And like Mike said, he was really struggling to connect with his lats. And he was pulling loads of weight down, but he was using every other muscle. It was like he had no correct connection with his lats at all. And when you see the posing that we showed you 18 months ago, I think it was, and today, you'll see how all of a sudden he can engage the lats and open it out. Now, it's still not, not perfect. All of a sudden. Well, <laughs> no, I'd say 18 months, but it'll look like all of a sudden from one video to the it next. Will. But you've still got some tightness, and you'll, you'll see that's a good, good thing to say about sports massage. You will get tight. It's important, I think, when you start to really train hard, even if you're a beginner, you're not necessarily afford it every week. But sort of every four to six weeks, you've got to have certain areas that get tight. And you'll see the left lat, as Mike's posing, isn't quite coming out the same. And that's because we've just trained it, it's, but it's been a lot better since you've had the, the massage, hasn't it? And, and your posing has improved just through sheer practice, yeah, basically. Yeah, and it's a direct connection. I was posing poor because I was training poorly. It, it, that old cheesy saying of mind-muscle connection has never been truer because I was pulling the full stack down for 20 reps and then I was going like this and nothing was happening, just my shoulders were tensing. Yeah. So it depends what level you, you're trying to get to and what you're trying to achieve, but even if you simply just want to wider back in, in the bar on a Saturday night, you still need to be doing things correctly. Yeah. Or if, if you want to get on stage, which would be the main reason you're watching this video, you definitely need to do it correctly. And uh, we'll be throwing in some before and after photos in the next video. I think back is the, the hardest one to gain that that, that, that um, mind to muscle connection. It's a, it's a cheesy thing, but if you, can't, you haven't got it, you're not gonna work the muscle correctly. And that made a massive difference to, you literally didn't have any muscle there and you were struggling to connect and now you know you can actually feel them there's the muscles there you can feel it and obviously because you're training it properly you, you you're working it so it's easy to say right okay open it and close it because you're actually feeling that during when you're training so it's definitely important to forget the weight for a point because we had to we had That's to go it, back the, to the first thing aside. we did the first thing we did was oh, drop yeah. from a single arm pull down from three plates to one. I was like, I come in to train with Kelvin. I was like, oh, I can do three plates on that. But what we were doing there is we're, yeah. we get an old. So can my mum if she swings it like, <laughs> like that. Because you're throwing everything through the back and sort of like coming through here like that. What we've got him to do is pull down, engage that, hold it for a second, and then keep it engaged as you come through. And that made a massive difference. As soon as that was done, it took a couple of weeks when we were doing 20 aside. But once he got that connection, the weight went straight back up, and now you're nearly back to where you were. But working a lot yeah so that'll wrap up this first video um, we'll be going into a lot more detail in the second one supplements and down that route we'll go through everything I take totally honest um, if anyone wants to put any questions down below for me to cover in the next video it isn't gonna be anything special you're just gonna see what it takes to go from being a normal gym goer to getting on the stage in a proper bodybuilding comp no shorts None of that shit. 
just all done properly. Yeah, and it, it, it's simple basics. I mean, everyone's looking at special tricks, and I think with the online coaching, because you're not engaging with someone one to one, then you almost need to give someone tricks or make it sound all magical. But when we're training, it's simple. Get it right, do it consistently, keep doing it, and, and you'll get results. It's that simple.